Whether you refer to it as master vendor file, vendor master file, or a supplier file, it's all the same, you know, arose by any other name. It needs to be cleansed periodically. How frequently you do that cleansing will depend on whether you view the process as a special project or part of your regular accounts payable process. Stick around until the end when we explain which approach we think is better and why. Hey, guy, I'm Mary Schaefer, founder of AP Now, the place where you go for all the latest business intelligence you need if you work in, manage, or have responsibility for the accounts payable and or payment function. So let's dive in and let's get started. Let's start off with a brief description of what we're talking about. What is the master vendor file? The master vendor file is the repository of all information you need to pay a particular vendor. Now, most of the time, the master vendor file is maintained in accounts payable, but sometimes it's in purchasing and occasionally it's in other areas within the company, possibly accounting, maybe treasury, but most of the time accounts payable. Okay, repository of all information. So what do we mean when we talk about cleansing the master vendor file? Okay, I wanna be real clear here. What we mean by cleansing the master vendor file is deactivating any vendor who you've not done business with in the last 12 to 14 months. Now we say deactivating, not deleting, because if a vendor comes back to you two years from now, you want to be able to have access to your information. You don't want it to be that you've you know, thrown it in the garbage and now you are stuck basically doing whatever your vendor wants you, but you want to have your own records, okay? So that's what we mean by cleansing. We kind of leave vendors in there who we've been active with for the last year. So that's why we say sometimes 14 months because you'll have most organizations anyway, will have a few vendors that they do business with only once a year. Think about the company that you buy calendars from, or if you buy Christmas trees, the company that you buy Christmas trees from. So you only do business with them once a year and their invoices and their payments won't be exactly one year apart. So you want to give yourself a little wiggle room. Okay, so that's what we mean by cleansing the master vendor file. So why do we have to cleanse it? Why can't we just leave vendors in there forever? There are several reasons. Number one, if you put your vendors in there and then never deactivate them, you'll have thousands and thousands, and in some cases, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of vendors in there who you're not doing business with, haven't done business with for a while, and it will really muck up your master vendor file, that's one. Number two, having these inactive vendors in your vendor file can facilitate fraud. A devious employee who's trying to defraud the company will realize that if they submit a phony invoice for payment, for example, they've got to put it off against some vendor file and they'll use one of your inactive vendors. So you don't want to muck up the master vendor file. You certainly don't want to facilitate fraud in any way. And then lastly, something to be considered. If you haven't done business with an entity for a number of years, and then you want to start doing business with them, you really should go through your review and validation processes with them one more time, because a lot could have changed within the last few years. So you want to have a good, fresh picture. You don't know what's going on. So that's another reason. So the million dollar question, how often does the master vendor file need to be cleansed? Don't you love that word, cleanse? Okay, before we get to the ideal frequency for cleansing the master vendor file, if you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We produce new content for the channel three times a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are devoted to accounts payable and payment issues. And Saturday, we reserve for Wordle. Okay, back to master vendor file and cleansing the master vendor file. You can look at it either as a special project or an ongoing process, part of your regular accounts payable process. Now, you know what happens with special projects, okay? We always have good intentions of doing them. We always want to do them, but somehow there's always something more important that comes up. There's always an emergency and they get back burned. So if you only do it once a year, and we used to say once every two years, by the way, but now once a year is considered to be an acceptable process. But if you only do it once a year, it's going to occasionally get back burned when either, you know, there's too much work 
or something more important comes along. Now, I personally like the idea of doing it quarterly or monthly. That way, each time that you do it, it's not this overwhelming, oh my God, we've got to go through the master vendor file, but there's only a small amount of activity to go through. And it also becomes part of your regular accounts payable process. So you just take it as you will, and it doesn't get back burned. Also, no one forgets how to do it, which can happen if you only do it once a year or less frequently. So by doing it on a regular basis, you remember how to do it, which is, you know, a plus, but not a huge issue. But also there's only a little bit of activity instead of this huge mountain of activity. Now, the timing of the cleansing of the master vendor file isn't the only master vendor file issues your staff has to deal with. There are a whole slew of them, as I'm sure you're aware. We've done a few of these short videos and we've put them together in a master vendor file playlist. You can see it right now by clicking on the link that will appear momentarily on your YouTube screen if you're watching it there and is in the show notes below. As always, we appreciate your thumbs up, your subscribes, your shares, and your comments. Good luck.